Hey, what's up? Welcome to this video in which I'm going to talk about what my first web development job was like. So first, let's talk about how I got the job. So um, it's a pretty fun story, actually, because I met a friend online at a Discord community, uh, which was about web development. And we had contact every now and then about our, you know, web development experiences. And he at the time was already working at a web development agency. And then at a certain moment, I actually told him that I was looking for a job. And he told me that at his place, they were looking for a new front end developer. So um, he said, you know, why don't you apply right here? So that's what I actually did. So then I had a call with the owner. He also said that he checked out my GitHub portfolio and well he thought it was pretty good so he invited me over for a job interview and i had that job interview with him and the most senior back-end developer in the company and then they asked some questions about how i actually got into web development you know just some general software related uh, questions and also about react and testing things like that and I think in those job interviews, it's important that you don't pretend that you're dumb, right? You spend months or years learning this. So this is really your time to shine. And of course, you shouldn't become too overconfident. You, know, you always got to, you know, be true about the things you learn and the things you did not learn. But on the other hand, you, you got to show them what you have to offer. So I had a good conversation with them. And after 50 minutes, they came back and they actually gave me the job offer. So it was really surprised and very excited so I accepted the job offer and I was able to start a couple of days later so at my first day I was you know setting things up I got my new laptop so I was, was connecting to the services that the company used and uh, I also was able to start with my very first project so my first project was an angular project but I actually never worked with angular before and of course they knew that but you know, I felt like, you know, let's let's learn Angular, let's do it. And in that first project, I had a lot of room to do my own thing. It was a completely new project. So, um, you know, I, I had a lot of freedom in, in, in the decisions I was able to make. And the first days were crazy. Um, you know, you have like a lot of excitement about, about your project. And on the other hand, it also puts you in place because you're surrounded with people that have been doing this for years. So there's like a lot of expertise around you. And uh, that can be quite overwhelming, but um, I, you know, I had a pretty good time. But there were days where I came home and I was like, you know, how is it even possible that after seven months of like very intense learning, I'm still not able to do all this basic stuff. And in my case, it, you know, was also because I had to work with Angular, which I never worked with before. And um, I, I didn't spend enough time learning styling or CSS. So that got me in a bit of, you know, trouble as well. So after I had worked on two projects, I moved to a new React project after about one and a half or two months. And I was pretty happy because I really liked React. And to me, it also felt like going back to the comfort zone. And to some degree, I also felt that was the moment where it started for me because I was right now able to apply the knowledge that, you know, of all the things I learned in the previous months and I was able to apply it um, at the job itself. Whereas Angular was very new to me. And what I immediately noticed, and that's what you are going to notice probably as well, is that, you know, things are done differently than you expected. Like everyone, has their own style and ideas about how to go over creating web applications but of course the people that actually work there you know they have them as well in a software there are a lot of things that are you know subjective and not subjective but i can remember that you know from some of the feedback i got back um, i was strongly disagreeing with it and i think being critical is not a bad thing but on the other hand you are paid to work at that company so you know the goal should be that you adapt to their style of working whether you disagree with it or not and that took me a while to get i you know i probably got got caught up in a bit of ego and 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 you know my colleagues they they well obviously notice as well so at a certain moment i you know i opened up a little bit more and i was working on a new project and i had like a lot of feedback cycles with the most senior front-end developer in that company and that was the moment where you know he was telling me why they did certain things and that cleared a lot of things up for me and again i was not always agreeing with the 
uh, choices that were made, but I was now understanding why they made those choices. And I think that is really important. You gotta be open-minded. That was for me key to become better because not long afterwards, I, I became a lot more productive. I was pushing more code and you know, my overall um, contribution or, or you know, well, that's a productivity was definitely better. So after like five or six months, I, you know, had pretty much only done React projects, but like all things come to an end, also projects do. So I had to switch to a new Angular project. But like I said before, I had only worked probably about a month and a half with it. So I was not very experienced with it at all. And that's where I found out that I didn't really like working with Angular compared to React. And I tried it for a couple of weeks, but I just found out that, you know, I wasn't really enjoying work so much anymore. So I had an initial contract for seven months, but the intention was there to eventually move on to a permanent contract. But because I knew that Angular was a core technology used in that position as a front-end developer, I eventually told my boss that I, you know, I didn't really feel like doing another contract. And you have to understand that this is never, you know, nice to tell your employer because they invested in you. but. On the other hand, things like this unfortunately happen. I made the career switch to do something I was passionate about. And I just know that if I have to do a job which I don't like, it's not going to work out anyway in the long run. But after that first job experience, I'd like to share some tips with you. Don't be afraid to ask if you don't know. You gotta find a good balance between you know, finding information online and asking your colleagues. Don't feel bad about being overwhelmed. It happens to everyone in varying degrees, of course, but in the end, it's going to get better, for sure. Be open-minded and willing to learn. You can always forget about the things you disagree with when switching jobs. If you find yourself struggling with things, you know, spend time working on those skills in your free time. And keep learning new things, even if you're not using them at your first job. It's very easy to just do your job, take the money, and be happy with it. However, if you're laid off one day, and all you know is like outdated tech, people will notice and you're screwed. So let me tell you a bit about what I did after I left the job. And there I have another tip for you, is that as soon as you have thoughts or ideas about leaving, immediately let recruiters know on LinkedIn. Make sure you have contact with recruiters before you're actually leaving so you can prevent being jobless for quite some time. I did the same thing and I was able to get in some very good job offers in the first couple of weeks after I left. I ended up going for a project as a contractor which generally speaking increases your income significantly compared to a permanent role. But more about that in another video. So if you like the video and like to see more of this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up and if you have any questions let me know down in the comments good luck with your first web development job or finding it and remember to have fun thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one